With only 67 days to go before Election Day, former President Donald Trump is facing some backlash from some of his most ardent supporters over comments he made about abortion. The former president said he believes Florida's new six-week abortion ban is too restrictive and signaled that he would vote to overturn it, only to reverse himself late this afternoon. CBS's Caitlin Huey Burns reports. Donald Trump's sudden claim that he plans to make IVF free if elected has stumped some of his supporters. The government is going to pay for it or we're going to get or mandate your insurance company to pay for it, which is going to be great. We're going to do that. The former president has not yet detailed how the government would pay for the treatments, which could cost billions of dollars a year. But his proposal comes as he faces a significant gender gap in his campaign against Kamala Harris. CBS News polling shows the vice president leads Trump among voters who say abortion is a major factor in their vote. The issue will also be on the ballot in Trump's home state of Florida in November, where voters will decide whether to codify abortion rights into the state's constitution up to the period of gestation. After signaling an openness this week to supporting that measure, Trump closed the door in an interview on Friday. So I think six weeks, you need more time than six weeks. I've disagreed with that right from the early primaries. When I heard about it, I disagreed with it. At the same time, the Democrats are radical because the nine months is just a ridiculous situation. So I'll be voting no for that reason. But Trump's criticism of the Florida law and his pledge to have the government fund IVF has worried some top conservative leaders. He runs the risk of de-energizing, de-motivating his base by moving away from an issue that has been and continues to be a prominent issue. Backing away from that fundamental principle that the party has championed for 45 years is a big deal. And meanwhile, Democrats aren't giving Trump any credit, arguing he is the one who put IVF in jeopardy by nominating the Supreme Court justices who overturned Roe v. Wade, a decision, Nancy, that Trump told me just last week he has no regrets about. And now people really trying to figure out where he is on this issue. Caitlin Huey Burns, thank you so much. Thank you.